This is a quick video that is going to guide you through setting up the vCloud usage meter. The usage meter is the most important piece of software when you become a VMware based service provider. Its main job is to constantly monitor and report on the actual amount of physical resource that you have allocated to your customers virtual machines. It will also measure use of other VMware products such as vRealize Operations or vCloud Director. My name is Matthew Hurley. I'm the VMware Pre-Sales Architect and vChampion located at Westcon New Zealand. Well, let's jump into deploying the usage meter. You can get the latest version of the usage meter from the My VMware portal. You will deploy the usage meter in exactly the same way as you would a normal OVF template. So let's jump across into the Vista web client and do that. So here we'll right click the resource pool where we want to deploy the OVF template and we'll click deploy OVF template. We'll then browse for the OVA file. Click next. I will then review the details of the OVA file. Click next. And accept the license agreements. And click next again. We'll need to specify the name for the virtual machine and also its location. Right now we need to select an appropriate data store on which usage meter shall reside. We'll do that. For our environment we're going to simply select it as a thin provision disk. Right, we're going to get to an appropriate network. We're going to assign DHCP to this usage meter. Click Next. Enter an appropriate password. Click Next. We'll put a tick and power on after deployment and we'll click Finish. Great, so the vCloud usage meter has now deployed. So let's launch the remote console. And the first thing we'll do here is jump in and change the time zone. So we'll set the time zone for New Zealand. We will select number nine, Pacific Ocean. If you're based in Australia, then obviously just select number six. We'll then obviously select 13 for New Zealand and New Zealand Standard Time. That information's okay. Now let's log in and set the password for the web. Set an appropriate password. Now with the web pass password set, let's log on to the usage meter itself. And we can do that by simply typing this URL into a web browser. We will advance through the security warning and now we're presented with the usage meter 3.3.3 .3 logon screen. So type in the password that you set when setting the web pass password and click login. Great. Now all we need to do now is enter a few details and the usage meter is up and running. So let's do that. So first of all, let's start by putting our company in our contact name at our site, the phone number of that contact person, and their email address as well. And the partner ID. Now the partner ID can be obtained by logging on to Partner Central or alternatively uh, it will be provided to you when you do sign up as a service provider with Westcon. The contract number 
Once again, this can be found within the My VMware portal, or alternatively, this will also be given to you when you sign up with Westcom. And the site ID. The site ID name is for you to choose. I do recommend making this unique. We'll click Save. Now next we need to put in the details of our email server. Click Save. And also the alerts. So we've put the information on the email, now we need to click on products. Within our products, first thing we'll do is add our vCenter server, that's going to be the managing hub of our vCAN environment. and click save and we will accept that that is indeed the correct host. Great, so that's all we need to do on the manage side. Now the licenses tab, that's going to pull the license information that we have and put it into vCenter. I'm not going to do this on this video as my licenses will differ from yours. The next thing we need to set up is automate reporting. Now this automate reporting is simply going to email us Westcon the aggregator, your monthly reports associated with your usage. Now the reporting day should be the first day of each month and the reports that we are keen to have is the monthly usage report, the customer summary, the detailed billing report and also the license summary. Now the to email, if you're based in New Zealand, please send it to software.nz at westcon.com. If you are based in Australia, then the email address is vspp at westcongroup.com.au and click save. Lastly, we can monitor the success of our usage meter into vCenter by looking at the monitoring tab. You'll see here whether it has been successful in polling the vCenter server for information or if it's not. If it's not, it will also send you a alert saying that. Thank you for watching. That's all that is required to set up the vCloud usage meter.